In this episode of Mighty Car Mods, we are back at the track in the newly modified Lotus. Welcome to another episode of Mighty Car Mods. We have done a supercharger upgrade on the Lotus S240, but we've retained the purity using a Harrop supercharger, which is the OEM supplier of superchargers for some of the Lotus cars. So we've retained the purity. We've taken the car where it's meant to go, and now we're making some excellent power. Now, a lot of the issues that we had with this car was we found out to do with setup. So that's adjustment, corner weighting, tire selection, rake, all sorts of sort of nerdy setup stuff. Um, which we think now has been solved. There was definitely some confidence issues with me after I came off the track, but today the car should be set up. It should be making enough power. Marty's main criticism, because he drove it, was just that it wasn't making enough power. It was steering from the back and on the straight it was slow. Yeah, That's it was, it. It was it just slow. didn't feel like it was steering with the front wheels. So it should be fast now that we're making, you know, over, what, 190 kilowatts 190 at the wheels? 190 kilowatts. Um, up from 130. Which is pretty much what's on, what's on the badge. Yes. That's about right now. Yeah, it is. It's, it's as advertised. So, um, I'm going to go and find Mark. He's a race car driver and a technician and a Lotus. He's a Lotus, Lotus guy. Dude. He's a Lotus dude. Um, and we'll have a chat with him, find out what's been done since it left me and since it left the dyno. And then um, we'll jump behind the wheel and get back out there and um, see how we go. Do you know how Lotus guys download data from their cars? Yes. They don't need USB cables, they just do this. What does that do? <laughs> that loads into their Oh, head. just because they're IT. <laughs> No, no, it's like the magic connection they have with their car. Martin, increase the maturity now because we're about to be near some real <laughs> Sorry. race car -y people. Sorry, everyone. Before I go out today, I'm checking in with the Lotus engineers and mechanics from Sydney and then also meeting a proper race car driver, Mark O'Connor, who owns one of these cars which he rates professionally. He's got some tips on the unique characteristics of driving a Lotus, plus explains what went wrong last time. It was set up with uh, what we call positive rake, so the front was way higher than the rear, which is not how you set up a Lotus. You set okay. up a Lotus with a bit of hot, uh, rake so it's lower at the front, so, and we've dropped it down to a reasonable ride height as well. Would that have been sketchy with you driving it as well? Oh, absolutely. I, I wouldn't have even finished a lap. I would have just come in and said, no, sort that out, boys. That's, right, okay. that's terrible. Uh, um, because I'm new to it, <laughs> I just I didn't know what I was meant to be feeling. So. Yeah, I know, I know. So, okay. yeah, it, it was certainly... You saw that video of me coming off, the, right? I saw the video, I saw the fear in your eyes, and I understand it perfectly. <laughs> I'm very confident that this will now handle like a Lotus should. Okay, good. And uh, it will be a much nicer thing and much more fun. I still have one of these. I, I bought one of these to race in uh, back in 05, 06. There was a thing called Lotus Trophy. I bought one to, to race in that and then went on a journey with the guys, not unlike yours. It started out as a normally aspirated car. Yeah. And then we developed the supercharger kit that we've now fitted to this car. Yes. was all done on my race car. Oh, right. So your car was so like the development car. It for was, this. Yeah, oh, that's yeah, cool. yeah. So we, we raced at Bathurst one year in, in February and we're doing two minute 40 lap times and we went back in October and we're doing two minute 20s or something. Yeah, wow. We got 20 seconds off just with the supercharger kit that we put in this. I think they're a pure driving, they go cover the gearbox. They're it's just all about the purity. That's all it. about the purity. <laughs> That's what it is. Well, thank you so much for looking into that suspension because I know, you know, I really enjoyed working with Richie and Lee and getting the supercharged stuff in, but in yeah. terms of the geometry and setup, that's like way beyond my pay grade. All done with strings. We we use strings and rulers. Most accurate way to do it. We don't, we don't like the laser gear as much, so yeah. uh, we get it to millimetre perfect that way. Was there anything not out? Or no, was there like heights not. were out, alignments out? Heights were out, out. out. Everything was out, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. Yep. Good to know. <laughs> so yeah, no, I'm looking forward to you coming back in with a bigger smile on your face and thinking. It was yeah, tears last time. Fun. I've done a lot of track time, you know, different tracks, and driven here, you know, countless times. But I think yeah. you know, going out with someone and getting some tips on the track would be really good. Yeah, as well. and and some Lotus specific ones are actually important. You know, this is a very dynamic car. Every little input you put into this car has an effect. So um, as soon as you lift the throttle or touch a brake, it changes weight distribution and it has a big effect on the car. So. Yeah. So there'll be some Lotus specific stuff we need to cover off today as well. Awesome. I'm looking forward to learning. It's going to be great. Thank yeah. you so much, mate. No Cheers. Well, and we want to go about 8,000 RPM. Not okay. much more than that, which the, it'll start flashing red at that. Not okay. as well, nice. I'm just going to go and have some fun, at least for the first few. Enjoy. Yeah, go. and just get a feel yeah, for it. Again, you'll like you'll yeah. come back with it without the fear in your eyes. Yeah, so have a smile on your face. I'm inspired. And, Yes. Thank you so much, guys, and thank you for all your work on this during the week. I understand it's probably been a big week, so thank you. 
Awesome. Thanks, guys. Enjoy. Thank you. All right, I'm back out on the track after my confidence was a bit shot last time. And um, I'm just out to have a bit of fun, see how things go. Helmets on, armbands on. Thank you, mate. more power now as well which I'm looking forward to experiencing let's get nice and warm this lap and use the gears more that's what I've learned last time I need to use more of the gears
second. Round we go. to get under a 155 and I've done it only just in very busy traffic. With more seat time and a clear track, there is way more potential in this car, which you are about to see. But for today, for me, a 154 is a really good start as my first time driving this car with a proper setup. So much to learn, so much technical stuff to get on top of. But man, I'm having so much fun. I've taken about uh, four or five seconds uh, off my track time. And I'm really, really happy with how the car went. It's very predictable. It's everything I'd hoped for. Very happy with that. Thank you so much to the crew at uh, Lotus Sydney and Lotus in Melbourne for helping me get the car set up. And, um, and I'm just, I just can't explain in words how different the experience of a proper setup is. I'm just, yeah, I'm just, I'm absolutely stoked. Really, really happy with that. Uh, a 154 is as fast as I've ever been on this track. If you wanted to do it on a budget, I think I got the same time with a turbo uh, BRZ. It was a 154 as well. But a very different experience, a different driving experience. Stoked. 
absolutely stoked. Well, I've really enjoyed doing a bunch of track days this year. It's been a focus of Marty and mine to try and get our cars on the track and test them more. A lot of people do mods to their cars and they never actually test them. We don't actually get any kind of quantitative way of knowing whether it's done anything good or bad. People can lower their cars, do all sorts of crazy things. You actually have no way of knowing really how that affects your car's performance until you drive it hard. So I'm glad that we did that. I've done quite a few track days this year, as has Marty. And I think what I'm pretty excited about now is getting back to some nuggets. Some good old school nuggetry. It is so much better with the upgraded supercharger. And now that it's actually set up properly, it just is confidence inspiring rather than confidence depleting to drive. I said it quite a few times, but I think it's a really good example of the setup of the change of that corner eight. I was spinning out before at under 80 k's an hour. Uh, I've been able to add around 20 kilometers to that corner speed. So really, really impressed with how that went. I know a lot of people have been saying that's kind of my capability of the driver, but what is the car's capability? So we have a treat for you if you want to see a professional, that's right, a professional race car driver. I'm going to hand the keys over to Mark. Uh, Lotus Dealer Principal from down in Melbourne. He's going to take the car for a lap. If you want to check that out, you can check that out on MCM TV too. That's our second channel. Have a look at that. Then we'll be able to see what the car's capable of. We can see what I'm capable of. And then the goal, of course, is to try and decrease the distance between those two things. Thank you very much for watching. And of course, a massive thank you to uh, Simply Sports Cars and Lotus in Sydney. Um, thank you, boys. Thank you, everyone. And Richie, I give you a snuggle because of COVID, maybe later. And um, thank you so much to you and all the crew. Uh, and thanks for watching. Click on the thing, check someone who knows how to drive and see what the car is capable of because it's freaking amazing. Check it out.